Let's take an opportunity to talk to you about a, uh, a, a new or at least a different uh, insulated sheeting product. Derek, you historically have used extruded foam, sometimes uh, uh, spray foams in some case in terms of exterior sheeting. This is an EPS product. Tell me about how's it been going? Uh, it's going really well. It's, it's a, like, like Gore said, a new product for us. Uh, it's got uh, uh, silver foil on it and it's also perforated uh, to, to allow uh, vapor to go through. And it's uh, still R10 but in a two and a quarter inch format. That's correct. So extruded foams are five per inch. This is uh, 4.5 per inch to get to R10, which is kind of common to you. So there's really no reason why we had to go to R10 other than that's kind of a common number. Could have gone back to R9 and get to two inch, which would, would have made things just a little bit simpler, but we're fair enough. I do like the fact that EPS foam in general is more permeable, more breathable, if you will, than, than other foam products. The foil facing would counter that, that is it's not particularly permeable, but they do put these micro perforations in to get you, you know, pretty good permeability, just over, uh, you know, what between one and three perms, depending on the nature of the product. And you're going to install it pretty much the same way you've always done. Yep. Of course, we're putting a house wrap over top of it, so we don't need to. This isn't your weather barrier. This is your thermal barrier. That's right. And the guys liked it? Yeah, yeah, it went on really well. No, nice. pro no problem with it at all. And very cost effective. Yeah, very, very inexpensive. Very nice. So AMVAC, a great partner in this project, supplied the insulated concrete forms, uh, helped us out with that, also provided access to their Ampex product for under, under slab for in-floor heat, and this insulated sheathing product called Silverboard, our 4.5 per inch, an EPS product that is still vapor permeable.